All right, I'm going to start with my favorite thing, which is a shout out to Team RDU. If you are on Team RDU, please raise your hand and show your RDU pride. All right, big hand for Team RDU. Love you guys. Um, the, none of this magic happens, frankly, without the help of everybody that you see around you. So thank you. Move in. Would you move in? <laughs> there you go, detective. Thank you so much. That's perfect. Grab a camera. <laughs> move in, move in. Yay, thank you. All right, well, welcome to Raleigh Durham International Airport yet again to our friends in the media. We are delighted to have you as we have yet another big announcement. So um, I am just absolutely delighted to welcome Frontier Airlines back. Like this was only like three weeks ago that we were doing this thing, right? It's not, it wasn't long ago. It wasn't long ago. Um, and that's really good news for our region and for air service. So good morning. Uh, my name is Christy Van Auken. I am the Vice President of Communications and Community Affairs for the Airport Authority. And we really are delighted to have you here today. So let's call today's event Great News from Frontier Airlines Part 2. In just a few moments, Frontier is going to give us three new reasons to fly with an airline that not only takes you to fantastic destinations, but also does it at really ridiculously affordable fares. That is what they're known for, and that is what brings all these new customers to our facilities. Frontier Airlines continues to grow here at RDU. They are the number two air carrier in terms of nonstop destinations, only behind Delta Airlines and they're going to fly to five cities not served by any other carrier. So that's pretty cool too. They're bringing new destinations, new non-stops to places that people really want to go. And they're a big reason why RDU is the best connected medium hub airport in the United States. And they're a huge reason why RDU has the lowest average airfare of any airport in North Carolina with more than one airline. So low fares, big jets, going to places people love, that is the dream combination, and it's all because of this guy right here, Josh Fleer. <laughs> so uh, before Frontier announces new exciting destinations, let's take a moment to recap all the fantastic service that debuts next week. This is all aboard Frontier. So here, we're gonna start with the cities that are not served by any other airline, and that includes Buffalo, Milwaukee, Providence, San Antonio, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. All really great destinations that were just recently announced and start next week. These exciting destinations will provide a great new option for RDU customers. So here's new cities aboard Frontier that are already served by other carriers. That includes Cincinnati, Houston, Kansas City, and New Orleans. Again, all of those flights begin out of RDU next week. And we're about to add three more. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Josh Fleer. Josh is the Vice President of Network and Revenue at Frontier Airlines. And we are just absolutely delighted to welcome you back to RDU today. So um, I'm going to turn it over to you. Everybody, let's give a great big round of applause for Josh Fleer with Frontier Airlines. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Christy. It's uh, uh, wow. Uh, for starters, I couldn't have done a better job, honestly, myself, promoting uh, what uh, what Frontier has experienced here in the Triangle and at RDU in particular. Uh, as Christy mentioned, it was not long ago that uh, my colleague Tyra Squires was here announcing new service, which is now just uh, about a week away from hitting hitting its inaugural uh, flights. Uh, Christy and the team here at RDU are, have uh, did an, an unbelievable job when we announced the service, uh, and we have no doubt they're going to do a, an amazing job next week as well as we uh, celebrate the inaugurals of the new service. Um, and uh, it is a testament to the to the the work that they've done and the reception we've we've had here in the Triangle. Uh, that even before doing the inaugurals of the recently announced routes, we're back again to announce other ones. Um, Raleigh, uh, Raleigh, Durham, and the Triangle area has really responded well to the uh, low fares done right service that we uh, 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 work hard to provide at, at Frontier Airlines. And so, uh, without really any further ado, I would just like to announce uh, further expansion. Oh, sorry, Christy, of our route map. Uh, summer, uh, summer seasonal service, the three new points being announced today starting in July. We will be adding service to Portland, Maine, uh, Syracuse, New York, and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, these will start as early as July 2nd and uh, continue to roll out uh, through the month of July. And uh, we're on sale right now with fares as low as $29. 
Uh, so we encourage you to visit flyfrontier.com uh, to get these great fares while they last. But as Christy mentioned, uh, low fares done right is our business. Uh, so if you uh, don't get there first, don't worry, there'll be plenty of low fares uh, on these routes for everyone. Um, but thank you again for turning out. Uh, thank you to Team RDU for the, the reception you've shown uh, to all the Frontier News Service. And we uh, look forward to uh, uh, coming back uh, very soon to celebrate more success and, and with uh, We'll make some more uh, route announcements uh, for winter 2018-2019. Thank you very much. All right, so can I just say, boom. How about Harrisburg, Portland, and Syracuse? So it gives us three new destinations on our route map that have never been served nonstop out of Raleigh. Am I right about that, Dave Young? Help me out. Nobody can remember back to a day when we had nonstop service to those great cities. But um, we're really delighted that um, Frontier is going to add them here. So Josh, when we thought we couldn't be more excited about your February announcement, you got us beat. You're back again, and we can't wait for these new cities to launch. So there are so many people from our area that have roots up in New York, so we really feel like Syracuse is going to be extremely popular. Eastern Pennsylvania, same thing, it's already a popular spot. This is going to give us more access into that area. And are, are you kidding me? Who wants to go to Maine in the summer and fall, right? Maybe you can bring back a live lobster, right? Yeah. Can we bring back some lobster? <laughs> on, on the airplane, is that okay? I mean, is that a comfort animal? Right? Yeah, <laughs> So just to recap, in 2018, Frontier Airlines has connected our region with 11 new routes, eight new destinations, and we are proud now for um, our route map, the full RDU route map, to have 57 nonstop cities. That's 57. <laughs> that is a lot of nonstop service. Zooming triangle travelers at a price they can afford to cities all over the U.S. and the globe. So Frontier is going to serve 18 nonstop destinations, total of 60 flights per week, and that is really exciting because every one of those 80 trips, or 60 trips, will have a very affordable fare. So. Without further ado, let's talk a little bit about next week where we're going to have some fun here at um, RDU as we celebrate what we are affectionately calling our Frontier Days. Passengers on the inaugural flights next week will be getting boxes of Frontier Animal crackers. Oh, we got some. We got a little example here. How cute is that? Little wise crackers are called. Super cute. Love the spokes animals from Frontier. And, um, and also some really fun, cool other swag, so super fun. So book a flight for next week and one of our new routes, and you can get one of these guys right there. So it's good stuff. Um, you'll also be receiving more information from our team on other events that are gonna be happening next week. So this is an exciting time for our airport and our region. Thanks to the investments from our airline partners like Frontier, RDU is really growing rapidly. And that's why we are putting our Vision 2040 Master Plan into action to enable us to better connect the people and places of this region with the people and places they care about most. So on behalf of the Raleigh-Durham Airport Authority, our President and CEO Mike Langeth, and our Board of Directors, I'd like to thank Frontier for your announcement today and for your outstanding commitment to the Triangle region and RDU. Thank you. So if you'd like to know more about booking those really affordable fares aboard Frontier, go to flyfrontier.com, right? Flyfrontier.com. More about RDU is always available at rdu.com. Thank you for being there. Josh is going to be available for questions from the media um, immediately following this conclusion, which is right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a great big round of applause for Frontier Airlines. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks again, guys. We have some questions here. Do you want some one-on-ones? Oh, I just got one. If okay. Wants to answer it now. Sure thing. Sure. Uh, Jack, I guess, here uh, at the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Right I guess my question is, you guys have hit uh, Raleigh running. Basically, you announced it in 29 cities in just a few years. What is it about this market that makes you just? Because I know these these are not just simple, random thought process to expand. What makes this this area so? 
viable for you to expand so fast? Sure, sure. No, the Triangle is a, a vibrant and growing region. Um, you know, we, we started our expansion uh, fairly conservatively, uh, you know, with Denver Service and some of our other key focus cities. Uh, but we found that, uh, you know, just with the, the strength of demand, both inbound and outbound to the Triangle, uh, that we were able to that the routes performed um, simply. So you know when we're, it's no accident we're back here, right? Uh, as you said, it's not random. Uh, we're here based on the confidence the confidence that we've uh, that we've gained by watching the new the previously uh, announced routes perform. Um, and so even though we're not flying a bunch of these new routes until next week, uh, we're seeing enough from the bookings that we're very confident that further growth in, in uh, the triangle is justified. And, and to be quite honest, I expect to be back here again before too long. Uh, announcing uh, yet additional growth, so it's uh, you know it's a combination of people want to come visit here, um, people are moving here from all across the country, as you're all aware. Um, uh, these people have very limited options, uh, or uh, too limited, uh, in terms of the quality of the service and the and uh, how high the fares are. Um, so Frontier brings a unique combination of uh, great customer service uh, at extremely low fares, as Christy mentioned, uh, and we also offer service with a smile. We don't think that uh, low fare service needs to come uh, with bad, low fare service doesn't need to be bad customer uh, experience, right? Um, and so that's the, the low fares done right combination that Frontier provides. And, and uh, what we've seen so far is that the Triangle region responds incredibly well to Frontier service, and, and we uh, expect to continue growing. And my last question is, can you spell your last name or your title? Uh, sure. Uh, last name is Fleer, F as in Frank, L-Y-R. And uh, my title is Vice President Network and Revenue for Frontier Airlines. Any other questions? Yeah, at the moment. So the, uh, the, the first of these three new routes starts on July 2nd. Um, our selling schedule right now is out through November 14th, so all three of the routes will currently be selling up through uh, November 14th. Uh, we don't; uh, these ones will be summer summer seasonal in the first year for, for certain. Uh, we don't know the ex uh, exact final date of operations for these, but it'll be sometime in the in the Thanksgiving Christmas period. Well, I noticed in the fine print that the twenty nine dollars is from Syracuse. Uh, what, what's the average for the, the Portland and Harrisburg? Uh, I believe that the uh, I believe the twenty nine is available in all three of those routes. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? I think we're good. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming, everybody.